What is going on guys? Just got 44 back again with a brand new video. You may notice I'm in a change of scenery. I'm at my best mate's house at the moment. Um, basically, um, it's my birthday coming up this Thursday and I'll be 23. So I decided to pick myself some new DVDs today. Um, I've got one from CEX and two from HMV. Rip off, bastards. Um, first one was through the CEX people first, so it cost me 8 quid. I have got... Wrestlemania 20 and this is pretty good deal actually because it's like £21.99 from Silver Vision so to get this at 8 quid you can't go wrong um, about there you got a Mania of Mania it's 45 minutes to 19 Wrestlemania greatest matches and kind of that the match card which is here oh, it's in case you want to find some wondering on the outside, that's it. Um, matches around, you got the US Championship match between Big Show and John Cena. You got Fatal Forward for the World Tag Team Titles. RVD v Booker T, RVD and Booker T versus Dudley Boys versus Garrison Kidd and Mark Jindrak versus Larry Resistance. Chris Jericho versus Christian. The Rock and Sock Connection versus Evolution in a two on three handicap match. Got the first ever Playboy Evening Gown match, Sable and Tori Wilson versus Stacey Keebler and Miss Jackie. You got the first ever WWE Cruiserweight Championship Open match between Chavo Guerrero, Jamie Noble, Funaki, Ultimo Dragon, Rey Mysterio, Nunzio, Tajiri, Shannon Moore, and Billy Kidman. You got an inter promotional match with Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar with Stone Cold Steve Austin as a guest referee. You got a fatal four way for the WWE tag titles. You got Scotty Tarty and Rikishi versus APA versus Basham Brothers versus World Greatest Tag Team, and then you got Victoria versus Molly Molly for the Molly Holly for the Women's Championship. You got Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle for the WWE Championship. Undertaker versus Kane, and the Triple Threat match for the World Title: Shawn Michaels, Triple H, and Chris Benoit, which is, was a great match, to say the least. So yeah, um, Ben Lee set in. So that's WrestleMania 20 for a quid from CEX. Now into the HMV ones. First one I got was for 16 quid. I picked up Royal Rumble 2011. Um, it's going to be my 4th or 5th 2011 I got. So if you haven't checked out my DVD collection already, I suggest you check it out. And then you got Magic's Ride, you got the 40 man Rumble, you got the Miz versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship, Edge versus Dolph Ziggler for the World Heavyweight Championship, and you got Natalia versus Eve versus Michelle McCool versus Lena in a fatal four-way match for the Divas Championship. So, Royal Rumble, two thousand eleven for sixteen quid from HMV. Then the last one I got was for twenty-six pound, which is a rip-off. And the reason I got this, guys, because everyone I see on on YouTube. Saying it's the best documentary that WWE have produced so far. I've got the Breaking the Cord Behind the Walls of Chris Jericho. Um, obviously, um, I want to learn more about Chris Jericho's career. And like I said, my friends from YouTube, they know, and you know who you are, saying that um, it's the best documentary going. And obviously, um, Chris Jericho, the first watch him in the No Way Out pay per view, 2000, when I first got into wrestling, he was a pretty charismatic and entertaining guy and he's one of the most best wrestlers around today I reckon so yeah that's a breaking the core band of Walsh Chris Jericho for £26 from HMV that's a recap those are the DVDs we got Wrestlemania I've got Wrestlemania 20 from CEX and then Royal Rumble 2011 and breaking the core behind the Walsh Chris Jericho from HMV so that was my pre-birthday pickups up out of the way until then guys Joe Scott 44 signing off peace